Sup shooters, my name is Logan AK, Spider Hands, and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we're going to be checking out a track by an artist named Manor of Animals titled Tall Trees. This track having been produced by Manor of Animals and Nathan Slum. We're going to switch over to here. We're going to listen to this music and we're going to watch the video for it. I, it is a video. Um, good four minutes. This should be interesting. Got a bit of meat on the bones. Um, we're going to listen to this from start to finish. Oh, hang on. Uh, we got directed by Hana Rajwan, Rajwane, DP Lucia Rinaldi, assistant director, production engineer Alice, Alison Hernandez. There's a lot of people involved in this. Assistant camera, Minami Moriyama, um, gaffer, Daniel Short, BDS Photos, Dawn Liu, styling, Ashley Shagner, and here, Gracie Jane, and music produced. Yeah, this is um stunning. Just to have this sort of um, presence and input and this team to work on a track, it always fills me with confidence. It seems criminal that these guys only have 17 subscribers considering the amount of effort that they're obviously putting into what they do. But we're going to listen to this and start to finish. Anyways, watch it and we're going to hear what we think. I mean, tall trees and you get an image of tall trees. Obligatory, I am not as knowledgeable about video as I am about audio, so I will be speaking mostly about the audio in this review. Go. Cool. I like how the bass and the drums go with here, there's a nice reverb on them. Nice filter on that percussion there. I like this style. I like this style of music. I think it's kind of a sense of innocence and angelicism to it. I don't know if angelicism is very angelic. There we go. Um, although I hesitate to go further down that route in case there's some sort of like revelation later on. I don't know what the song's about at this point. What's the meaning of it could almost be nihilistic. Uh, but yeah, the, the vocal performance works well with the rest of the instruments. Very kind of synthy, kind of colorful vibe to the whole thing. There's so much going on in it. Nice sort of stereo panning to it. I'm liking the sort of the repeater going on in there as well with some of the instruments. Oh, there's a heart. I'm liking these occasional vocal harmonies and how just by adding those different layers, it makes a much larger sound, you know? These kind of like very kind of rough kind of visceral parts where there's a lot of distortion of vocals, I'm still kind of figuring out the placement for those, whether it's like meant to communicate that emotion of kind of an instability. Maybe this is like a dreamlike state they're in where they can't really figure out what the hell's going on. The guy looks like he's having a really rough time, you know? Nice dynamic range to it. Some of those pads are very quiet, but they're just audible and they create a nice sort of contrast between some of the more present ingredients and the mix.
Okay. I mean, I know I'm back to the hook. I'm trying to kind of bring back the concept of the tall trees into everything else, you know? I'm getting a mild sort of dub vibe for this. There's a lot of... It's very vibrant effervescent there's a youthfulness to it can't escape What was that? What was that end part? What is this song about? I don't get it. I don't get what the song's about. I'm gonna have a listen through the first verse session, then I'll come back. Okay, like, I'm trying to sort of figure this out, because I want to show this song and these the people involved with this enough respect to try and understand their direction in this. I, I first of all want to state for the record that I think this is a really creative, well-written song. I think that it's thoroughly engaging the whole time. The vocal performance is on point. Uh, you still need to say that nowadays. I come across a lot of really, in like, fundamentally flawless music. I think part of that is because the people I listen to are the ones who kind of broke through, you know, broke through the sea of everyone else trying to put stuff out and they've got something special, you know. I I can't really fault the the instrumentalism of it. I, I would want I was I at some points like the kind of the distorted vocals kind of sounded a little bit kind of like they were maybe a little bit too much in the mix, but I think that's potentially a, a choice, a deliberate choice. You know, for it to be an uncomfortable thing because they're maybe screaming. Because the best take I can make of this song is that it is about a person who is stuck inside their own head. They never can escape. It's just a maze. And just trees keep coming up and they're getting more and more and more lost. And it's cold and they're alone and they've got no one else. And they're isolated. And then eventually eventually they just fall over and just never get back up and i think that's what happens at the end it's if that's the case and i'm hoping i'm in a way i'm I, it's it's horrific image but it's been showcased so well in this video if i'm correct uh there's something something a lot more obvious that i've potentially missed but i i just didn't want anyone to get the impression that i thought this music was was not up to par it definitely is uh, this is again it is criminal that a channel that is this well putting out this good of material they should have way more than 17 subs so if you're watching this please please do go and check out their their material tall trees is a phenomenal song and i guess on the topic of if i if i understand a song correctly it it is almost unbelievable that these sorts of things can mess you up like they do, but it's it's a thing that a lot of people have to deal with. You know, getting stuck in their own head and yeah, if you stay there too long, it's very difficult to escape. I like the fact that despite the fact the musical theme remained the same for the four minutes and never got old, there were things taken away and, and put in and 
it's been lovely to listen to this primarily because there have been changes in the loudnesses of different parts. The panning has been instantly done incredibly well. There's been some nice EQing and some nice filter work. I especially love that it was just engaging listening to the different sides of his voice. You know, the singer had some different parts, some different sort of levels of performance in there, some different styles of vocal delivery, and they all come together really well. For him to be able to go hard, like in those rougher sections, was to also show a sort of a fragility, a softness, a vulnerability in those softer ones. And for that sub bass to come in so smoothly in that hook was something to be proud of. I look forward to what manner of animals do in future. I think that working with uh, Nathan Sloan was a clever idea because I've heard Nathan's music before of things he's been involved with and I have been impressed by them. But I think as well to the credit of manner of animals with with him being the focal point of this it's just such a stellar introduction and a first impression and i've got nothing uh, for love of manner of animals and i really hope that they continue to do well in future this is this i would love to see what manner of animals would, would do with an ep or an album it would be really cool to see their direction and hopefully they can continue to work with the rest of the production staff and everyone else involved as they have done incredibly well as well. But that is effectively my review of Tall Trees by Manor of Animals. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think this was a pretty thorough single review. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the music. Please do, again do show them some love on their very social medias. Manor of Animals uh, on their YouTube and I'm, I'm sure that this is going to go out on other platforms as well. And uh, yeah, stay cool, stay safe, and uh, please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on. I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up.